Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. We was being killed. Are we being killed today by the white man? They not shooting us down in the streets? You don't, you don't know about, uh, was it, Trayvon Martin? Who else, who else was it? Rasheen Carter, Mike Brown. You, you forgot about those people? And many, many more. They're still killing our people to this day. That is, that is. What's your name, bro? Check, check. Turn him. You say what? Ryan. Christ. So, Christ? Christ, Christ. Okay, cool, cool, cool. My name is Zephaniah. So now, what, what have you learned since you've been here, since the brother been teaching? You, 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 you uh, took, took a glimpse of anything that was coming out? But not African Americans, that we're not black? You say do the right to 28, 25? What you want out of that? The understanding? All right, let's read that real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 25. Read let's read out. verse 15 and see why, what's going on with verse 25. Watch this. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Meaning the future prophecy. Moses was speaking to the Israelites. He told the Israelites something will happen in the future. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments. So the stipulation was, Price, that if the Israelites would not listen to God to keep the commandments in the Bible, something's going to happen in the future. Watch this. In his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses. And all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, Price, he said that if the Israelites break the commandments in the future, curses will come upon them. A curse is a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah. It's a bad thing. So he says some evil things going to happen to the Israelites in the future. Let's get into the curses that fell upon the Israelites. Verse 25. Verse 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten. Before you know what it means to be smitten? Killed. To be killed, the Lord will cause thee to be killed or smitten before thine enemy. Who is the enemies of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? What race of people would you say are our enemies? Think about this, the civil rights movement. What was happening to our people during that time? We was being what? Persecuted, they were seeking dogs on us. We was being also being shot down if we stood up to fight against the oppression that happened to our people, right? We was being killed. Are we being killed today by the white man? They not shooting us down in the streets? You don't, you don't know about, uh, was it, Trayvon Martin? Who else, who else was it? Rasheen Carter? Mike Brown? You, you forgot about those people? And many, many more. They're still killing our people to this day. Read it again. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemy. God is going to cause us or allow us to be killed before our enemies. Read. Thou shalt go out one way against them. So even during the time of the civil rights movement or during the Black Panther movement, we came in to fight and stand up against the oppression that the white man caused against us. Right. God said we're going to go in one way against them. And flee seven ways before them. When you look at, even if you type up the civil rights movement, how they were sicking dogs on us, spraying us down with water, water hoses, we were scattering all over the places. We, was run, we came in one way, and then we scattered out different ways because what? They sick dogs on us, they sprayed us down with water hoses, they were shooting and killing us. So we went in one way against the enemy, and we fled out different ways. Watch this, read. It shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. That's us going into slavery right now. How? on slave ships. Give me verse 68. Watch this. This is how we were scattered into the four corners of the earth. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And the Lord is going to bring us into slavery again. That's what Egypt means. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How do we get here, Price? On ships, right here. Look at the pictures. 
All of these images that we got out here is for your learning. God said that he was going to allow us to come into slavery again on ships. On ships. Why? What was brought upon us, uh, Price? God called them what? Price. What did God call them? Curses. C to be brought on slavery, packed in uh, ships like that, like sardines. Is that not a curse? So God said we was going to go into slavery on ships. Read. By the way of I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there, and there, once we got off the ships, ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Did they not sell us price? They sold us in slavery. For what? For bond men and bond women. For slave men and slave women. And no man shall buy you. And nobody was able to redeem us. The Black Panthers couldn't redeem us. Right. Martin Luther King couldn't redeem us. Right. Nobody was able to save us out of the curses that God put on us. Right. I want you to understand who we are. Price. Twenty-eight and sixty-eight. Yes, it's letting you know that Egypt is what bondage, bondage. You understand? So guess, guess who we are, Price? Price. Who are we? According to the Bible. We the Israelites, brother. According to the Bible, we are, is, we are the nation of Israel. Guess what? I'm going to ask you a question, Price. The holidays in America, you celebrate them? Let's be honest. Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day. None of them. Okay. So what about the keeping of God commandments? What do you do, Price? You still a Muslim? All right, cool, cool, cool. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you something. You got a girlfriend? You do? Why? Why? I'm asking you why because is it good to have a girlfriend or is it good to have a wife? You know. According to the Bible. You're supposed to have a wife. So why you ain't married? Let me read the scripture for you real quick. You know why? Because we was not taught this Bible as a people. Right. That's why. Right. From a young child growing up, we was not taught that it's good to be married opposed to having a girlfriend. Right. Because in the society that we grew up in, the society that America set up, they push boyfriend and girlfriend right. through the media, through the radios, through, through the TV. You understand? So what we see, we follow. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Time. Oh!